what did I leave off on? I can't remember. Uh, oh, yeah, this movie. That's right. Creepy movie. The Uninvited is really good. I can't remember if it's based off of a true story or not, but it was really, really good. Alone in the Dark. I haven't seen the second one, but this one's definitely good. I heard that the second one wasn't really good and did not start the same actor. Oh, and the music videos in this DVD are amazing. The music videos are awesome. Now, this is another series where the first one was better than the, than the sequel, Mirrors. Awesome movie. Not so much, in my opinion, for Mirrors 2. First one was fantastic. House of Wax. Here's here's that movie that stars Jarrett Padalecki. I think I'm saying his name right. Who plays Sam on Supernatural. That was a good movie. Another creepy movie. The... The right, I think I'm saying it right, I'm not sure. It's based on a true story, it's kind of like the exorcism, that's basically what it is almost. Here's a creepy, disturbing film that I mentioned earlier The Hills Have Eyes 1 and 2. Now, I heard that there are original Hills Have Eyes movies, and those are the reboots. I haven't seen the original, but those are creepy. I want the first two in this series, and the fourth one I enjoy too, and that's the movies that, that starred um, Debbie Reynolds, which we know about that story, you know, it's so sad. Halloween Town High. Fantastic movies. There was a rumor that they were going to do a fifth one, but I think it got canceled now because she wouldn't be able to... You know, awesome series though. The Grudge. I enjoyed the first two. The third one was okay. Uh, there was a rumor of a fourth film, but I think they're going to talk like they're going to do a, a reboot now. The Grudge 2. I didn't even, a couple years ago or so, I didn't even know they even came out with a Grudge 3, so I, I picked it up and finally watched it. The Grudge 3. I mean, the first two were really good. The third one was okay, in my opinion. Then, no, this is an awesome movie. Zombieland. I think they did a Zombieland TV show on some kind of streaming service. But now, I think I heard it was, it was not too bad. But they need to do a Zombieland 2. Awesome movie. Now, this one, I don't want to talk about too too much bad stuff about the people out here out there who loved the reboot film there's a bunch of stuff in it I did not like and there's some stuff that I did enjoy and I don't have that movie right now but I'm planning on getting it these are the originals Ghostbusters 1 and 2 and it comes with uh, some kind of art book it comes with co concept art and pictures and stuff and then the reboot film, which I said I plan to get it, but I don't have it. I didn't like it as much as the originals, but like I said, I don't want to make get anybody upset about the people who did enjoy it. But it's parts of it I did like, and parts of it I didn't like. So, there you go. Beastly, um, it's kind of like a another version of Beauty and the Beast. I haven't watched it yet plan to and it stars the girl from the high school musical films uh vanessa Hudson vanessa hudgingson lost boys really good i think yeah they did a third film yeah but i don't have it yet i, I got the first two lost boys the tribe and i really enjoyed these movies i want to get the third one now this one, I kind of wish they would have made the fifth film, but now they did the, the TV show, 
And in my, opinion, in my opinion, they're kind of messing up the darn TV show now. I mean, the first two seasons were great, and the third season is supposed to be kind of like a reboot. So I'm not sure what they're doing here. But this is the movie series that started it all. Scream 1, 2, and 3. And then Scream 4. I enjoyed the movies, and I wish that they had did a fifth one. But they talked like that was not going to happen, and the TV show was supposed to continue the legacy of the franchise. And like I said, I enjoyed the first two seasons, and what they're talking about the third season is supposed to be a darn reboot. I don't understand what's going on, but the first two seasons of the TV show was great. Uh, Andaconda. I don't have all of these. I plan to get them all. Um, let's see, Andacondas, The Hunt for the Blood Orchid. I think this is the second film. I think this is the third film, uh, Andaconda Offspring. Yeah, this is the third film. And they did a fourth one too, which I ha don't have it yet. Um, Frankenstein, I thought this was really good. This is not the original Frankenstein. I think this is supposed to be kind of like a reboot, and it was it starred Luke, Luke Goss, and William Hurt, and it was really good, really good Frankenstein movie, fantastic. Nicolas Cage did a great horror film, The Wicker Man. It sucks how this movie ended. You know what I mean if you've seen this movie, but it was good though. It was good. Now, uh, awesome series. I'm not sure about anybody who hates any of them or not, but I enjoy them all. I have all the movies, pretty much. Um, Friday the 13th, the original films. Um, maybe missing a few cuz this is um this is uh 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 and killer extras is what this is Yeah, I think I'm missing it. I think I'm missing a few of these films. I enjoyed them all. Including the reboot, which I do have it also. This set, I think it was $5, I think, at a flea market. I think it's an awesome set. I'd like, I'd love to get them on Blu-ray, but I know the Blu-ray set is quite expensive. And this is the killer extras right here. Um, all the behind the scenes of how they actually made the movies and stuff. And this is the reboot that starred Sam from Supernatural. thought this was really good. It was really good in my opinion. Really good. I enjoyed it. Boogeyman. Uh, a lot of people like this movie and don't like it. I haven't seen 2 and 3 yet, but I do want to. This is just the disc only. It's just the disc, so it's like, mm, that's very exciting. It's just the disc. But uh, I enjoyed the first movie. I'm not sure about anybody else, but I enjoyed the first one. Awesome Bruce Willis movie. The Sixth Sense. Awesome movie. It was shocking how that movie was set up and how it ending, but it was awesome. Last movie. Uh, wait a minute. Nope. Almost. Uh, Panic Room with Jodie Foster that also starred a young... Christian Stewart. I thought this movie was really, really good. And now...